Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today we are doing a shop with me at A Bit O' Yarn from Englewood, Florida as well as my announcing my birthday month giveaway. I'll see you guys in a sec. Welcome back everyone. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today we are doing our next local yarn shop tour which is at Abito Yarn in Englewood, Florida which is about 85 miles away from me, roughly south. Um, and then I am also going to be announcing my birthday month giveaway which March is my birthday month and I figured I'd go ahead and do a giveaway. I know I have our almost 1250 subscriber giveaway going as well which I'll put in the cards above, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and do something for my birthday as well. So I will be talking about that in a little bit. Um, make sure to watch the video in its entirety because I will have a multiple choice question that you have to answer as well as of course you want to see what it is that you are, you could potentially win. So anyway, first we're going to go ahead and go through, um, I'm going to go through some stuff about the shop and then I will we'll switch over to the um, video tour of the store and then we'll come back. You'll see some stuff that I got while there and then we'll go ahead and um, I'll announce the um, my birthday month giveaway. So as far as a bit of yarn, it, I really enjoyed that store and I'm so glad I finally was able to get down there. Um, I'm actually trying to figure out how and when to get up to the next two stores because I need a store for next week. Um, but that is in the works. Uh, but as far as with the Biddle Yarn, um, she is awesome, or the owner is awesome, and so are the employees. And the store is really cool, I really like it. And you know, she does a lot of good in the community as well, which is awesome. Um, sorry, I think I've said awesome multiple times. <laughs> And please forgive me if I'm not like as enthusiastic or maybe not smiling as much and or squealing or whatever, but um, I have my uh, dentist appointment today, although I recorded this yesterday. <laughs> but um, yeah, for those of you that weren't here last week, I'm, I'm having issues on both sides of my mouth um, as far as pain is concerned. and can't eat anything solid, but it's been quite interesting. But anyway, let's get to a bit of yarn. Um, she does offer online shipping. She will ship internationally. It is handicap accessible, absolutely, and there's plenty of room inside. Um, let's see, oh yeah, she also has a thing where if you, like, this is the bag that I got while there, right? So next time I go, if I bring this bag with me, um, there's a little perk. I think it's like a dollar off your order or something like that, but it's an encouragement to reuse the bag because they are very much into eco-friendly everything. Um, what they do, the yarns, yarn companies that she deals with, everything. So I, I love that. Um, my problem is, is remembering to take the bag and I don't live right around the corner where I can just easily go run home to grab it if I did forget it. But, you know, I love the idea of it. Absolutely 100%. Uh, like I said, she is very eco-conscious um, and she does offer eco-friendly, sustainable, organic, and recycled selections of fibers. Um, I did, I believe, go over some of that as far as like pointing out some of the um, brands that she carries So in the video itself. Um, she does also have a Red Tide line of yarn. Uh, which tells the story of our local waters and the portion of the proceeds from it is donated directly to Moat Marine Laboratory to help with research to combat red tide, which a couple years ago we had a horrible red tide. I mean, it caused so many issues on the beach and everything. It was horrible. But um, I thought that was kind of cool that they have a red tide um, inspired line of yarn. Uh, they welcome openly knitters, crocheters, weavers, and anybody in the fiber arts community, no matter what it is that you do. It's a very welcoming environment and they just, it's, it's really cool. I, I really enjoyed it. 
I'm sure you'll get the vibe from it also when you see the video. Uh, let's see. She has a large selection of needles, hooks, notions, gifts, patterns, bags, and accessories. I mean, a lot of it. I think I showed a lot of it in the video, but I mean, all kinds of stuff. Uh, they do also have knitting, crocheting, and weaving lessons um, or classes. They can, if you need like a quick fix help, you can do that any day by just walking in and, you know, letting them know, hey, I need a quick fix on this. Or you can schedule um, a private lesson with one of the ladies that works there or one of the people that works there. Uh, one of the things she does, she makes blankets for the homeless. I think that's awesome. Um, I did, when I, when I visited the store at the time, uh, she was also doing a food drive um, for a local um, uh, um, food pantry, right? I think that's the right term where if you brought in food you know, like canned food and stuff for, or anything for the um food drive she was offering depending on how much you brought she was offering you a discount towards a purchase and you could go up to 50 you could donate enough to get up to 50 percent off your purchase and if you did that five times in a week no problem the more you brought the more you would get i mean i and, and i think that's awesome like i said she tries to really do a lot for the community and everything um, she also does Wacky Wednesdays where um, there's a free pattern on Wednesdays and you also get a discount on the yarn that's associated with the pattern. Um, but for the entire month of April, and I think I mentioned this in the video, the entire month of April she's going to be doing a collaboration with Earth Yarns uh, for the Wacky Wednesdays and they're going to be patterns of theirs as well as the yarns that you could get a discount for are going to be from Earth Yarns. Uh, I guess they do normally do like, they normally do like collaborations in person together, but with everything going on, I guess that's not happening. So they were trying to figure out another way to do it. So this is what they came up with. And that's going to be for the entire month of April. Uh, so if you're interested in any of this, of course, give them a call. Or if you ask me, I'll go ahead and try to get more information and then I'll get back to you. Or you can call them directly. Or if you live in the area, feel free to stop by. It's really, like I said, a very welcoming and friendly environment. And everybody there was very, very friendly and nice and helpful. Um, so anyway, that is what, that's primarily what I thought would be of interest to you guys, um, at least to start with. So I hope you enjoy the video tour of the store. And as I said, when we come back after that, I will show you a couple of things that I got while there. And then I will go ahead and announce my birthday month giveaway. Yay, I'm so excited. So, well, I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Enjoy. Okay, so we are at A Bit O' Yarn in um, Inglewood, Florida. It's about 85 miles south of me. Um, great store has so many such a range of items I mean and every price point so from you know very affordable up to more expensive yarns like you would expect at a local yarn shop but so she's very much environmentally friendly and likes working with companies that also are there's a lot of information I'm hoping I got a lot of it right but I may confirm with her so that um, before the video I got everything correct uh, it is handicap accessible and plenty of room inside. I apologize for the traffic, but this is a very busy road. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and go inside and hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I have. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Bye. This is one of the things that she's doing right now. It's a food drive all month. It's until um, the 28th, I believe. And the more, the more you bring in for the food drive, the more you can save up to 50% and if you want to do it you know five times in a week or whatever feel free the more you bring in the more you can save I think that's awesome and she also is doing um, she's making blankets for home the homeless that's another awesome um, thing that she's doing and plus she has wacky Wednesdays on Wednesdays here let's do this on Wednesdays um, you she does a free pattern and you also can get a discount on the yarn that would go with the pattern. You can shop online and um, she does ship. So that's also a great thing. Um, I think I got there. Oh, in the month of April for the Wacky Wednesday, the entire month of April, she's actually working with Earth Yarns. I'll show you that inside. 
um, and with patterns of theirs and I think it's gonna be a really great event um, anyway we're gonna go ahead and go inside I need to turn it off though because I need to clean my hands with sanitizer but um, I'll be back in a sec All right so this is when you walk in this is what you see um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this section first and then we'll kind of go around the store but this is her Malabrigo which is of course beautiful I absolutely love that royal purple one right there it's gorgeous um, jeans awesome all right so knitting pattern holders or crochet pattern holders Alexandra's craft this is really pretty actually and very soft oh wonderland yarns right there all right then we've got alpaca lace peruvian tones 100 percent baby alpaca it's really pretty let's see got a cascade yarns all kinds of fun stuff friday harbor Oh, look at all these colors. You know I'm in love, right? They seem a little bit brighter in camera. Um, Anchor Bay. And then you've got some needles and stuff up here. I'm trying to remember not to pan you guys too fast. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful stuff, right? And we've got some big wheel here. Some Barocco. <laughs> these these uh, baskets are, you can't just get them anywhere. They're actually, they're so beautiful. I love them. Here. Let me get the <laughs> USA wool basket. Made in the USA. Awesome baby books. Some more notions. Look at these tape measures. Very cute. Oh my goodness. We're knitters, but we never noticed it. <laughs> well, we don't usually come, we don't usually come this direction. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Amagurumi kits. 30% off. Luchi threads. Sure. Sure. Look at these. Oh, cute. Aren't those cute? Pretty warm designs. And then we got needles, and they welcome crocheters, knitters, weavers, anything you do. They are very welcoming of. We've got some crochet hooks here, some um, boy, more hooks, more needles, Ooh, knitter's pride hooks. Anybody that's used them, let me know what your opinion is of them. Look at this sample. Beautiful. Whoa. Okay, guys, I got to pause it. Hold on. All right. So more kits here. Merino gradient. That's beautiful, isn't it? Earth yarns. Which we know earth yarns. That's where, you know, the buy one, plant one. Which that's something I'm going to talk about in a second. But that book is really cool. And I guess it explains the difference between yak and cashmere. Which is really cool. What's that? Oh, suds. I'm guessing that's a wool wash, maybe. Got some magazines. And then cute buttons. Now, like I said, she's very um, environmentally friendly. And this Beach Bunny brand, this one here in particular, this is by a veteran. And he, um, all the yarns, I think he's, uh, I think she said he's in, out of Florida. Um, but this line, the con conservation line, 
all proceeds go to support conservation in Florida, which I think is really cool. Um, but fun stuff. And, I, oh, and that's organic cotton. It's not by him. It's somebody else. But I'm going to have to ask her to remind me what the story was with that. Oops, sorry. I almost knocked something over. Look at this. Is this not cute? Um, this is a really pretty sweater. I think that's out of Earth Yarns. I think it's that same one that we saw in both stashes. More yarn here. This is Alta Truth. She tries to keep a variety of um, fibers also. Having a hard time finding what it is. Oh, there. Merino and baby alpaca. Look at these colors. Barocco. Some Barocco. Um, Queensland collection right there. Here we've got Phoenix DK. Oh, it's an Ella Ray. I love Ella Ray. Pure Egyptian Mako Cotton. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see what this is. Teresa Rupp Designs. I'm warm, guys, but you know, that's just me. Look at this. That's beautiful. I'm not quite sure which yarn that would be from. But Zarina Malon, Malon, Filtera de Crosa. More samples. Some more of that Feza. And we've got, this looks like it's lace weight. Some more kits. Now this is Earth Yarns. Remember this is where I got... I think that one right there, if I'm not mistaken, um, at a stitching witch. Um, and then this one, or one similar from one of the stashes. <clears throat> but with Earth Yarns, I don't. I think I mentioned it, but I can't remember. In April, the entire month of April, she's doing the Wacky Wednesday with them, and. Um, with patterns of theirs because they used to do different things uh, together but with no traveling and stuff it's been very difficult so they tried to collab on something so that is something you can go ahead and um join in on her this is pretty so is this one her uh newsletter and you can get all the information on that if you're interested these are kind of these are pretty it's a starry sheep and wool company uh, why am I having a hard time? Oh, 75% Virgin, Virginia grown cotton, 25% American raised merino wool. Oh yeah, plus I wanted to tell you this company right here is out of Montana. Beautiful, beautiful yarns. Did you need double points, I heard? Yes. Are you wood or steel? Beautiful. And look, oh, she is Stelina like and her sparkle. So Alright, so now, look at these samples. Sorry guys, I know I'm panning you guys too fast. So pretty. That's a cute little sweater. And, there you go. I would love to learn, but, I don't know. That may be on the bucket list for down the road. This brand, is, um, this is Trailhead Yarns. This is a company by women. This is really pretty. I believe all of these up here are lace weight. And they are very commonly used for weaving. The beautiful. Oh, look at him, isn't he cute? Remember, if you guys, if something catches your attention, let me know. If I don't know the answer, I will definitely ask. Ooh, sorry, guys, I hit the um the uh microphone look at those aren't they cute so adorable 
this is an American company. Everything. It's sourced, colored. Everything is in America or in the U.S. Monticello Collection. 75% cotton, 25% flax. But everything is in the USA, which is very cool. That's a pretty shawl. Let's check this out. Some really cute slippers. Circulo, I guess, is really big into um, crocheters. Which is that and all of this down here. Um, this is Concha by Marisol. 50 super fine merino, 50% cotton. Look at this little purse or notions bag, sparkly. Again, I'm a groomy kits. Now we're going into the back room, and here she has her King Cole. Now with King Cole, again, environmentally friendly, um, I guess they, uh, they support, uh, they have their recyclable yarns and their bags, are put, which you would think are plastic, are actually leaves. When they biodegrade, they turn into a leaf, which I think is really, really awesome. Um, there was something else she mentioned about them, but right now I can't remember. And then you've got some more fun things. But one of these King Coles I wanted to show you. That's 55 bamboo, 37 cotton, 8% B PBT. This is really pretty. And then you've got the Drifter. And this was a customer favorite. I guess the lady passed away suddenly from a um, a stroke. But what she did was she went ahead and she got patterns that she was going to, um, for anybody that was interested, would give to. And then that was the yarn that she chose for it, which is really cool. Cotton soft. Very, very cool. And then here, this is actually her line. She has been working with this company and she works with the what fiber she wants, what color she wants, and they work it up. That's her label, a bit of yarn. This is 80 Merino 20 Nylon. I think, no, this is Mirasol, so that's not hers, but look at this. Isn't that fun? It's so sparkly, 50% cotton, 50% viscose. Love it. Again, trying to not spin you guys too fast. Adria Phil. What is this? 100% Lana Merino Superwash. Ooh, this is fun. Can you see, uh-oh. Can you see the sparkle in there? This is, it looks like it's chain spun. Huh. 50 percent viscose 23 percent lana wool 20 yeah but is that not cool oh i love it and those colors that they have are great forget me not plymouth yarn oh let's see what it is can't see what it is you guys see it let me know. <laughs> anyway, more of these uh, USA wool baskets. They are stunning and great price. And then you've got some Barocco cocoa and this Lane Servinia. We've got some more. Um, samples okay. 
Sirdar. Snuggly, I love the Snuggly. And then here, the Unique Sock by Earth. More samples, got some more Barocco up here. You guys know I love Barocco. This is pretty. 93 cotton, 7% nylon. This is really soft, too. And, um, I'm going to turn around in one second. This, of course, pre-COVID was where everybody would kind of sit and relax. It's one of the things she prides herself on, is having a very relaxed, welcoming environment for anybody. Crocheters, knitters, um, weavers. This is stunning. Look at this bag. That's pretty. Nice and big. Ooh, I want to join her rewards program. That is stunning. Ooh, pom pom. Pom poms. Let's see some of these um, samples. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful samples. Shows. All kinds of fun stuff. Okay. For the zen of it. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, so I think we're pretty much done. Ooh, 20% off. What is this? Heritage Silk. Peruvian Tones, 85% Superwash Merino, 15% Silk. This is very soft. All right, guys. So this shop is awesome. I love all the stuff that they do, like the, um, sorry, I didn't mean to swing you around, but like the food drive that she's doing. I mean, not only are you bringing stuff in, but you can get a discount. Also, the blankets for the homeless is amazing um just so many awesome things that she does Ooh, this is fun king cole bamboozle 48 bamboo 44 wool 8 acrylic isn't that fun so anyway let me know if you have any questions or if you want any clarification on anything look at the slippers for the little guys I love this lamp shade, shade. Well, actually, I love the whole lamp. It's awesome. But let me know if you have any questions or if you need any clarification on anything. Or um, she does ship, so you can order online if you want. Um, that's pretty. So you can order online. She will ship, I believe, domestically and internationally. But I will get clarification on that, and I'll put it across the screen here. This is ridiculously soft. Like ridiculously, 100% acrylic. Re oops, sorry, off screen. Ridiculously soft. But uh, I think I covered everything else. I think. So again, if you need any more info, let me know, and I will get it for you. I love the shop. Like seriously, I wish it wasn't as far as it is, but I will definitely be back to support her because. It's an awesome shop, and she does a lot to support the environment and stuff. All right, guys. Ooh, I love this carpet. Look at that. That is so awesome, isn't it? So cool. All right, well, I guess I'm going to end it with that. So I will cl get clarification on a couple things with her so that I can put at the beginning of the video, <laughs> which you guys are will have already heard. But I will see you guys soon. All right, bye. Hey, so what would you think? Isn't it cool? I mean, she's got all kinds of stuff and a ton of different um, dyers and brands and stuff. I love it. Um, if you have any questions, now there may have been a couple of points that I may have missed on some of the brands and why she carries them or why she may be discontinuing, etc. Um, I'm When she, so she watches the video, I'm definitely going to ask if she could please let me know if there's anything she would like me to address 
that I missed and then I will bring that to you on one of the next getting to know getting to know you so um if Miley's underneath the tripod so if you have an earthquake she moved and that is what happened um although I'm hoping she will go into the room and just go lay down and go to sleep oh you can't see her oh there she goes <laughs> anyway hopefully she'll go to sleep without too much distraction for us um, I also have to try to get through this because my phone battery is at 11% so let's get to this anyway as far as what I got while there um, I think I mentioned or pointed out the book one of, or one of the books that was there the power of knitting um, this I haven't started reading it yet. I mean, I, I very rarely have time to do much reading, but I do plan on reading this. Um, and so that was one thing. And then there were a couple of notions. I got this. I have to fix it, though. I got this little snail um, tape measure. I have to fix it, though, because... Um, I don't know if you can see this, but part of the tape, okay, it's wanting to catch my face. I don't know if you can see the edge right there on the tape. Do you see how it's lifted? When it tries to go back in, it catches and I don't want it to undo itself, but is that not cute? It's a little snail tape measure. Um, and then I also, got this really cute um, stitch marker now it is a knitting stitch marker which you all know I know how to knit but I don't knit so I'm probably going to turn that into a crew um, I'll probably change it so that I can use it for my crochet but um, I also picked up this little pair of scissors aren't they cute with the little polka dots she has um, them in pink I th oh I, I think they're in the video um, pink purple like lime green and something else. They are really cute and really super, super sharp. So that was nice. And I love it because she wrapped it up in this little bubble wrap so that I didn't end up stabbing things. And, and yeah, that would not be fun. Um, okay, so then to the piece that is a stance, um, the yarn. Now, you all know, for those of you that have been following me for a while, you all know I'm not necessarily a Malabrigo person. It just, there's nothing against Malabrigo. It's just not something I have ever gravitated towards. I really, just nothing ever really, I, beautiful, I, stunning yarns. Don't get me wrong, absolutely beautiful. Just, I was never drawn to it. Well, she and I were talking and um, she's like, seriously, if you've never worked with it, and this one in particular, but if you've never worked with it, you have to try it and I'm gonna find the pattern that we did or that we offered and for a hat and you have to make it. it was a crochet pattern well anyway i will give you the stats first and then i will show it to you but it's um the malabrigo 193 um i can't remember how j is pronounced but um i don't think it's jacinto i think it's yacinto or something like that um let's see huh. rasta it's malabrigo rasta it's super bulky, I know, and I always use fingering, and this is super bulky, right? So super bulky, there's 90 yards per hank to 150 grams. Um, let's see, the suggested needle size is a nine to 10 millimeter, so I would go probably like 10 to 11 millimeter um, hook. It's 100% merino wool, but wait until you see the color, and I'm hoping it pulls up true to color because OMG. I'm telling you, it's like royal purple. Wapa! Is that not stunning? And I actually think for the first time with the royal purple, I think it's actually coming out pretty true to color. I mean, is this not beautiful? And let me tell you, when I say soft, it is so soft. I mean, it's squishy, but it's super bulky, so it's kind of dense but it is so incredibly soft and honestly i was thinking it looked like it was a roving it, it is um it is i don't know if it's a single ply it doesn't say but it is absolutely stunning um 
it just when I saw this color there was another bright one. Oh, I showed it in the video but when I saw it I was like holy crap and I was like you know what yeah you know you, you've got a point so and it says hand wash cold water dry flat oh and it says this magnum yarn bears uncanny resemblance to rasta dreadlocks in a thick single ply made from merino oh i think i said it was single ply right um made from merino wool it has full on plushiness and is just as soft as ever Kettle dyed in small batches with our unique artisan process. Rasta is perfect for quick knits and cozy gifts. Um, so as I said, it is Melabrigo and it's absolutely stunning, absolutely insanely soft. I mean, seriously, I so wish we had touch-a-vision and smell-a-vision, but is that not gorgeous? I mean, so beautiful. I absolutely love it. So anyway, um, let me know what you think. What was your favorite part of the store? It can be something I just showed you. That's fine. Um, but let me know what your favorite is. And um, that will, like I mentioned, like I always mention, um, that will be an entry into a future, a possible future um, surprise giveaway. But let me know what your favorite thing was. And... Yeah, I'm just super excited with that. And I really do like that store and I'm looking forward to the next time I'm down in the area. Now, I don't know that I would, I mean, 85 miles isn't that big of a deal. I mean, it didn't take me that, that long to get there. But um, the next time I'm down there, I'm definitely going to, oopsie, hold on a second. Ow. Next time I'm down there, I'm definitely going to stop in there because I just love the store. And oh, I love what, you know it all stands for and the selection and just everything was really awesome. So I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it because um, I know I'm sure you guys are going to like it. So anyway, now on to my birthday month giveaway. So March is my birthday month. Um, so I did decide to do a giveaway. I do have a multiple choice question that I'm going to ask. Um, as always, you can you can let me know if it, let me it, it's designed to make you think out of the box. Not that there's really much that you have to think out of the box. It's pretty straightforward. But depending on sorry, I'm hot. Um, my my everything's hurting, so I'm like overheating. But anyway, um, if one of those, let me know which one you would choose out of the answers that are out of the options that I gave you. But if none of them really suits what you would do, let me know what it is that you would do. You know, just say, yeah, it would be a, but this is what I actually do type of a thing. Um, <clears throat> now I was trying, I was trying to keep it rather small, but yet include enough but i think i ended up making it a little bit bigger than i was in t in initially in intending uh, but i hope you enjoy it it's kind of a hodgepodge of stuff so you may or may not enjoy it um there is wool in it so if you are if you are picked as the winner and you are allergic to wool please let me know and don't not enter go ahead and enter and if you win let me know that you're allergic to wool and i will try to find something comparable now I don't know that I have much that would be, but I would figure something out to try to make it so that it'll work for you. So just don't not enter because of that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have as part of the giveaway. Again, it's kind of a combination of stuff, so I hope you like it. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit bigger than I initially planned on it being, but it is my birthday month. Now, it will start as of today, Monday the 1st, and I will be doing the drawing on March 9th, which is would have been my dad's birthday. Um, my dad passed away several years ago um, suddenly, but that, that was his birthday, March 9th. So that's the day I'm going to do the drawing, and then I will announce it on the, which I think is... Um, the 9th, I believe, is next Tuesday, um, so I will go ahead and announce the winner on Wednesday's video, which is March 10th, but the drawing will be done on the 9th. Um, I will have the full list of rules in the description box below, but you do have to be a subscriber to my channel, and I need to be able to confirm that you are. So if you have your settings set to private, I'm not going to be able to see that you are subscribed to my channel. 
if that's the case, I will have to redraw the winner. And I really hate to do that, but I, I will have to do that. Um, so you need to be a subscriber to my channel. You need to like the video. Um, if you're willing to share the video, I would greatly appreciate it. You guys know I am still growing my channel, obviously. Um, and my next milestone giveaway is at 1,250 subscribers, which I will put the video in the cards above um, if you haven't entered it, but you can go ahead and enter that giveaway as well. Um, excuse me, I have to take a sip of water. My mouth is very dry. This antibiotic, antibiotic is like kicking my butt for my teeth. <laughs> anyway, um, so you have to be a subscriber, like the video, share it if you're willing to, um, and you have to be 18 years or older. You need to have your, um, if you don't want to keep your list public the entire time, just make sure on the 9th that you set it to public so that I can, so that if you do win, I can see that you are subscribed to my channel. Um, you have to be 18 years or older. I will ship it worldwide. I am not responsible for any duties and taxes once it leaves. Once it leaves me, I'm not responsible for anything after that. Uh, and um, if for some reason I'm told that I can't send send it to you, that you can't accept any kind of giveaways or this type of merchant or this type of items um, from the U.S., then I will have to choose another um, winner. I think I got primarily everything, I think, and if not, it'll be in the description box below. If I think of anything along the way, I will definitely let you know. But I will be back in one second because my phone's about to die, so I have to charge it for a second. I'll be right back for a second for you, but it may be like 15, 20 minutes for me, so I'll see you in a sec. Hey, so welcome back. Um, sorry about that, and that ended up taking a bit longer than whatever I said I thought it would take like 20 minutes is what it is but I'm back so to show you what is part of this giveaway now I really hope you like it um, there's some yarn and then there's some other extra items now one of them is one that I got to ha I got a couple of them I showed them to you last week to have as an extra in some of the surprise giveaways to make it kind of evened out um and then one of them is from a small shop from the uk who sent me a couple of things for future surprise giveaways um, and i decided i wanted to go ahead and put one of them into this giveaway uh, so i really do hope you like this giveaway and yeah so let's get on to it so I have first is a Sashka bracelet and um, this is the fire one that I showed you guys I absolutely love it please ignore my nails they're all kinds of broken and stuff um, our appointment got switched from Friday to Tuesday so anyway um, but I love this bracelet the Sashka bracelets are I have an affiliate link down in the description box below um, they are glass beads that are um, um, hand um, strung and then crocheted and the workmanship is absolutely unbelievable um, and the proceeds go to help um, women in the Kathmandu Valley of Nepal who are the ones that make these bracelets and it just helps um, them with fair trade and to be able to make a living uh, but that is the first item the second item is from universe in the UK uh, Craig is the one who has the pun pins um, which are really cute and I showed you several of but this isn't a pin this is a necklace and I sorry it wasn't even it's driving me crazy but check this necklace out. This is one of the items that he sent for me to do in a giveaway. And I hope you like this one. But it's um, cutie. Cutie. Um, but isn't it cute? And it's, spark it's a little sparkly. The purple area is a little sparkly. But I absolutely love this. I think it is so adorable. I would love to keep it, but he sent it for a giveaway, so I'm going to put it in the giveaway. And I was really excited and decided to go ahead and do it for my birthday giveaway, and um, I hope you like this. This is a really, really, really cool item. 
um, and it comes in this cute little universe box. So we've got the bracelet, we've got the necklace. Now for the yarn. Now, it, like I mentioned, it's kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. Um, so, but I th I'm hoping it's fun enough for you guys. Now, these two um, I got from Needlefish Yarns in, or Needlefish Local Yarn Shop in um, Venice, Florida. They, the colors don't match, but I thought they were really fun. And honestly, I almost wanted to keep them, but I bought them specifically for a giveaway, but they are from Trendsetter Yarns. They're hand painted, recycled linen. Um, this colorway is Sunrise, or no wait, color number three. Maybe it's not Sunrise, hold on a second. Yeah, I think it's Sunrise. It's 84% recycled linen and 16% linen. Uh, there's 150 yards in each. Yeah, they both are the same. So this one is Sunrise. I hope you like that. It's kind of coming undone in the hank. I mean, not completely undone, but I need to just twist it up a little bit better. Um, but I loved these colors when I saw it. And then I've got Mercy, which is this colorway, which I thought was really, really pretty also. And it is very soft. Um, and it says this is a, a hand dyed yarn colors are layered on the base yarn and will shade when knit be sure to purchase enough yarn to finish your project as dye lots will change to avoid shading yeah so anyway um like i said i mean they're they're both they're both different but there's 150 yards in each um and this is kind of also a way for you guys to be able to just at least try something that you may not have tried before but i hope you like these two i know i do and they are soft i mean i'm not going to say like butter but they are a soft um yarn then i don't know which ones i want to show you first i think i'm going to show these to you last um i really was i really had a hard time with deciding to give these away although um the next um, the next couple of hanks are from Unique uh, Unique Yarns. I have an affiliate link in the description box below for them as well. That's where I had the, um, for my 1250 subscriber giveaway, um, I had the two, I had a couple of Glow in the Dark and the Sun Color Changing Yarns. That is, the next couple of hanks is, it came from them, the Unique Yarns and they really do have some unique items and if you want to check them out make sure to follow the link in the description box below it is an affiliate link so if you decide to purchase something i would make a small percentage no no um i would make a small percentage it wouldn't make a difference whether or not you went through my link or to their website directly it would be the same price except i make a small percentage but i have to tell you that because i i have to let you know that that is part of the deal um, but I, what I was starting to say is I was having a hard time deciding to give these away. However, they sent me, they asked me a couple, several months ago, they asked me to send them a list of items that I'd love to receive. And she was going to send me a bunch of items for me to do for giveaways. I could keep some and I could give away whatever I wanted to. And so I went through the website and I just literally put everything on the list that I thought was awesome. <laughs> Not expecting that they would send everything, but I told her, I'm like, this is so that you have a wide variety of items that I would be interested in, both for myself and I would put, I put on there for myself or for giveaways. So she responded saying, I can't send you everything because some of the items are really popular and we can't keep them in stock, but I will send you as much of the stuff as I can. And then at a future date, we'll go ahead and send you some more. I was like, okay, awesome. Well, so, both of these sets that I'm going to show you, I kind of wanted to keep, but I, I'm going to part with them and, and um, give them away. So these two... Um, I can't remember there's a note on the on the tissue although the tissue was kind of um, ripped up not ripped up but not necessarily prettily wrapped <laughs> but it says mineral dyed merino wool this yarn is dyed with finely powdered mineral rocks 100% natural and cosmetic grade 
This dyeing process compacts the wool fiber, which then blooms once it has been worked with needles or hook, resulting in an extremely soft and warm finish. A little excess of pigment may come off while knitting crocheting. These colors are extremely color fast when hand washed. Enjoy. Now, I think this one was like graphite or something. I keep trying to find what it says on here, but I, the labels are very, very um, delicate and I don't want to rip it off completely. But this is gray alpaca, but it's like a deep gray, like a charcoal gray. Uh, they're 50 gram hanks with 107 meters in each. It's 60% alpaca, 25% merino, and 15% nylon. And I have to tell you, this is very soft, very soft. And it says that it would get softer. It is beautiful, and I love the colorway. They're coming out true to color from what I can tell. And just check that out. Again, I told you the label is kind of delicate. That's how it came to me. But um, is this not stunning? And like I said, it is so super soft. Now, um, you obviously can wait until you receive these and see if there's something that you would be interested in you know getting and you know what I'm gonna see I'm gonna try to find the video that I unboxed the box that they sent me so that you could see all the different yarns in there so that if you decide once you read whoever it is that wins this if you decide that you know hey I want to check this out you'd be able to go ahead and find that video if I can find it I'll put it in the cards above um and uh yeah so it's so super soft and I really, really, really had a hard time deciding. I did, I did decide to keep two other sets of Hanks that were also, that not the same color, they were different, but um, yeah. And just, these are really, really, I think really unique. And I really think you'd enjoy going through their website. Even if you didn't get anything, I think you would enjoy going through their website and just seeing what they have because they have such a variety of different items. Now, these two, I had a hard time parting with also because of the color, and I thought they were just really cool. Now, this is the same thing as far as um, having been um, dyed with um, uh, natural, uh, um, I don't know if it's a stone, or and it's not on here, which is very frustrating for me, but this says pink fluo, I swear that's what it says on both of them. It's handwritten. Yeah, fluo. 50 grams is 107 meters. Again, it's 60% alpaca, 25 merino, 15 nylon. And it suggests a hook or a needle of 5 to 8 um, millimeter. But check this out. It's a very light, like, ballet pink. But you can see the white in there as well. Can you see that? And um, you can see the halo too, but it's also very like, like plushy soft. Um, and it's so pretty, so, so pretty. And I was so having a hard time um, parting with these. The other two that I had like, kind of had like this, not really sparkle, but it was much more rough. Um, this is so super soft. So I really hope you are going to enjoy this. It's 107 meters in each, just like with the dark or the charcoal. So you've got those two. And I don't know why I keep talking in circles and stuff. Maybe it's because I'm a little tired and, and my brain is kind of like on pause. But um, anyway, so you've got those six Hanks, which the first two are kind of like a mini Hank. Um, and then I decided I was going to go ahead and include two that I felt went well together. I don't know if they were designed that way or not, but I think they go well together. And they're two of the extra hanks that um, uh, um, Kim with Mason Creations sent me for giveaways. I decided two of them I was going to go ahead and put into my birthday giveaway. Um, and then the rest were going to go into surprise giveaways and I was going to be keeping one of the Hanks. But I hope you like these. And like I said, to me, and also I asked my mom, they look like they would go together for the most part. And I hope you agree. But again, it's Mason Creations Yarns. Uh, they're both her workhorse base, which is the 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. 
There's a, there are 100 gram hanks each and there's 436 yards in each one. This one is pure vanilla. That looks a little bit more yellow than it is. I guess it's kind of like a creamy yellow. It's not like a bright yellow like on that fish. It's not like that. I mean, I think it's not coming out quite true to color here. Um, even there it looks to me like right there it looks about it still looks a little bit more yellow than it is to me it's like almost like a buttercream kind of um and then this one is poppy fields and i have a feeling a bunch of you are really gonna like this one and if you see see in here in the camera it doesn't look like they would go together at all but do you see like there's the, there's like that like buttercream kind of in here. In real life and in the natural light, these look like they would go well together. So I decided to go ahead and do both of them in this giveaway. I'm hoping this giveaway is something that is enough. If that makes sense now you all know with my giveaways whether it's a birthday giveaway or a milestone giveaway I always try to do for the most part the bulk of it being yarns from my local yarn shop creativity and I always go in there and get the stuff that she puts on clearance uh, not because that's you know all I think you guys deserve because they're beautiful yarns it's just that way I can afford to get the yarns that you likely may not have gotten on your own but that you can go ahead and try um, but I haven't been in there in a while and so I've kind of used up all the yarns that I had gotten from her but when I was at Needlefish I got a couple of clearance yarns that they had uh, for giveaways and then again unique yarns had sent me yarns for this May, uh, Kim with Mason Creation sent me a couple of extra yarn um, hanks. So I just wanted to make this a little bit more than just, you know, one or two hanks. As, again, a thank you to all of you for all of your support. I wouldn't be doing any of this if it wasn't for you guys. And I sincerely appreciate every single one of you and all the time that it, you put into watching my videos because I know what time it takes to watch videos and comment and like and everything and I truly and the fact that you guys have been letting me know so much how much you're enjoying my content and that you're really liking the two series I'm doing on Monday and Wednesdays and many of you have told me with the getting to know you you love it because you kind of get to also know about each other and just I'm able to cover things that you may not have realized you were wondering, but somebody else asked the question and that type of a thing. So it really means a lot to me when you guys let me know that you're enjoying what it is that I'm doing. Um, and as much as I'm enjoying doing them. <laughs> but good luck to all of you that enter. Oh, oh, <laughs> I guess I have to ask the question, right? So anyway, but yes, good luck to all of you that enter the giveaway and I hope you enjoy it and I hope, I hope it's something that you're going to get excited over and I know a lot of you do tend to get excited over the giveaways that I do so I hope you like it. Anyway, question, multiple choice question, remember. If, if none of the three of these apply to you, just think about which one would likely be closest to what you would do. And then you can always let me know, okay, well, this is what I would choose, but this is what I actually do type of a thing. So are you the type who A, has to have matching colored shoes and purse, like with your outfit? You're getting ready and are you the type that needs to have matching colored shoes and purse that matches your outfit and that match they match together or b you purposely choose complementary but not same colored accessories so they complement the accessories complement the shoes and purse or whatever accessories complement each other but um they're not the same color necessarily but they complement the entire ensemble or c could care less about color coordinating or could care less about color coordinating as long as you like the style and or functionality of both so 
you really don't care whether your purse and your shoes match each other perfectly, but um, you like the style and you know the functionality of it. So A, B, or C, which type are you? You like, you have to have matching colored shoes and purses. B, purposely choose, you purposely choose complementary but not same colored accessories. Or C, could care less about color coordinating as long as you like the style and or functionality of both. For me, honestly, I'm C. Um, I really could care less if it's color coordinating as long as I, I am comfortable one, two, that um, I like the style and the functionality of it. Like I oftentimes, I mean, I basically always wear a black purse. Um, I have multiple black purses and they are, they, te they tend to be a higher end brand of purse, but that's simply because I have them for 20, 30 years and they look just as good as they do almost just as good as the day I bought them, even as hard as I am on them. But I typically use black purses and then my shoes, it is what it is. I mean, if it, it whether it's my Echo sandals or slip-on um, heelless uh, like tennis shoes, um, it just depends on what it is that I am going to be most comfortable in. And that's what I just go in. I mean, obviously I don't look like, I try not to look like a schlub most of the time, but I'm not very, I'm not matchy matchy or anything like that. So I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say and what you prefer. And again, if you don't fall into any of those three categories, if you can let me know which one would be the closest to what you would do, and then you can let me know well, but this is really what I do. And I'm really excited to, I'm seriously really excited to hear your comments. And I know some people say they really love how, how the types of questions I come up with. And I'm telling you, it takes a while. My mom and I sit here and think about not only the question, but the multiple choice um, options. And it, it takes a lot of brain power, <laughs> which there's very little of lately. Uh, okay, maybe not very little, but you know what I mean. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you loved the tour of A Bit O' Yarn in Inglewood, Florida. And let me know what your favorite part of that was. And then, of course, I hope you enjoy what's in my birthday month um, giveaway. Remember, it starts um, today, Monday. And I will be doing the drawing on uh, Tuesday the 9th. And then I will be announcing the winner on Wednesday the 10th in that video. So, and make sure that you read the description box if you have any questions about the rules or, of, or anything. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. Um, I'm hoping that I'm still gonna be recording Wednesday's video on Sunday. Yeah, I know, kind of confusing. But hopefully in real time though on Wednesday, my jaw will feel a lot better. Um, anyway, have a great rest of your day. Miley says hi and bye to her peeps. My mom said to say hello. Again, thank you for the prayers that I asked for in um, yesterday's video and the getting to know you for our friend at the office and our um, other friend of my mom's. And I greatly appreciate that. Remember, for every season, there's reason to crochet and love hugs and prayers to everybody. Extra prayers for those who need it. And remember, if you want to be added to my Christmas wish list, the Christmas wish list, really, my Christmas mailing list, uh, email me your address and I, it'll be safe. It just goes into my handy dandy address book and it stays there until such time I decide to send a card. And remember, if you guys can let me know when your birthday month is so that I could just kind of keep track of it so that I can send the birthday card if I'm able to at the time. And yeah, so anyway, have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you guys soon. I love you guys. Bye.